Bitcoin, I mean, you at one point, I think back in April, told Dow Jones that it could go to about $500,000. Do you still hold that target? Do you still think that's where we're headed? I, I, we do. I do. Yasin El Mandra is our uh, crypto analyst, and and uh, we we go through soul searching times like this and and scrape the models. And yes, our conviction is as high. The one thing that has changed here, however, is the environmental concerns around uh, Bitcoin in particular have mm -hmm. uh, caused. Uh, people like Elon Musk to pull away and say, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa! Let let me let me make sure I understand this." And uh, we believe that even this is going to change because, first of all, right now uh, the percentage of Bitcoin mined with renewables and hydroelectric power is quite substantial. I think in uh, China it's over 50 percent in renewables, uh, and we also believe, uh, uh, and we wrote a paper. Uh, in conjunction with Square on this, and we're going to have a conference about it in July. We believe that Bitcoin mining integrated into the distributed grid, and by that I mean solar roofs, power walls in homes, uh, utilities, merchant power producers, uh, starting to include Bitcoin mining in the ecosystem. Why would they do that? They would do it because renewables are intermittent power sources, right? Weather, is it sunny or not? Wind, is it windy or not? And Bitcoin mining could take off if it's if there's excess energy uh, uh, from solar being loaded into power walls, it can be offloaded into Bitcoin mining and the whole ecosystem therefore becomes much more economic. If this happens, we believe that the, the uh, adoption of solar is going to accelerate dramatically because there's another profit center associated with it, Bitcoin mining. Well, what happens though in the meantime? So here we are at 35,000, Kathy. Do you think we go much lower from here? Uh, you never know how low is low when a market gets very emotional. Uh, a lot of traders see Bitcoin uh, dropping below the 200 day moving average. Uh, which right. is which was at forty thousand. Uh, so traders, once that happened, they just dump. Some just uh, dump and run. Uh, I think we're in a capitulation phase. Uh, Yasin has uh, a dashboard. We were looking at all the indicators this morning. They are all suggesting that we are in the capitulation phase, which is a really great time to buy, uh, no matter what the asset is. A capitulation phase is buy. It's on sale. Now, am I saying 35,000 is the low? You know, if traders, uh, and there are a lot of speculators in, in Bitcoin, if they are uh, running for the hills just because uh, Bitcoin has broken through a moving average that is important to them, it could continue. But uh, all of our indicators are saying this is capitulation right now. Do you have a low point on your model for Bitcoin? No, these metrics uh, are, are more a, a measure. Uh, are we in a truly capitulation phase? Okay. And it's very detailed. Yassine uses on-chain analysis, which this is the only asset where you can see exactly who's doing what, when, why, and how. Uh, and all of those metrics are saying, this is a capitulation. This is as, as bad as it got during the coronavirus crisis.